Hi everyone, I am Dr. N. Murugan. I am a senior consultant hepatologist that is a liver specialist. I work in the Apollo Group of Hospitals in Chennai. Uh, so today's talk is on International NASH Day, which is on June 9th. So we create awareness about NASH, which is basically what, what it means is it is a fatty liver disease. And uh, it's a very common increasing burden around the world. It has a lot of health risks and we also call it as a silent epidemic. And in liver disease, it is causing more and more problems, which we are noticing in the last 10 to 20 years. So I'm going to talk about five important points about NASH today. And I hope this uh, is useful to all of you. Uh, the first is that NASH is a very common uh, disease in India and around the world and it has a lot of health risks. Uh, almost 25 to 30 percent of the Indian population have fatty liver. In urban areas it may be higher. The health risk is that fatty liver alone is not important. It is also associated with a lot of other disorders in the body, mainly cardiovascular disease diabetes, having extra fat or obesity, high BP and uh, cholesterol and right triglyceride fats in the body. So fatty liver has much more consequences to the body than just affecting the liver. This is the first point I want to get across to all of you. So the second message is that fatty liver, many people think is just a simple problem. Everybody has fat, so it's not a big deal but 20% of patients with fatty liver will progress to get liver damage. This liver damage is called NASH when it first starts and then this will become NASH fibrosis and finally it leads to a condition called NASH cirrhosis where the whole liver gets damaged. So this is a serious problem because once a patient gets cirrhosis, uh, it usually cannot be reversed. It will keep progressing and it may lead to liver failure, liver cancer and death of the patient. And many times they are coming nowadays for liver transplantation. So uh, fatty liver can cause problems in many patients and uh, you have to be aware of it and take precautions, take tests and treatment as required. So the third message I want to get across to, today to all of you is that those, who, those of you who are diagnosed to have fatty liver, uh, usually it is picked up by ultrasound and if you have risk factors for fatty liver which is mainly having diabetes or being overweight or sometimes even drinking alcohol then get an ultrasound and see if you have fatty liver. If you have fatty liver please get checked out especially if you are above 35 or 40 years of age. Get a metabolic screening which includes screening for diabetes, high BP, cholesterol, triglycerides, cardiac health and so on. And also you should have special tests done to see the liver condition. So there are a set of tests we do to assess the liver function called liver function test. We look for other causes of liver problems like infections. And most important, we check for liver fibrosis uh, using special tools either through blood tests or special scans such as FibroScan. So at least in the first instance, whenever fatty liver is diagnosed, you should get yourself completely checked out so that you understand where you are starting at, your basic health profile will be clear to you and then you can take precautions, go for treatment, take medication or if you are healthy you can carry on maintaining the healthy lifestyle. So it's very important for all fatty liver patients to get yourself checked out at least for the first time. The next point or the fourth message I want to get across is that we look at fatty liver in four stages. In the first stage, there is just fatty liver and you just change your habits. Uh, mostly you don't need medication and try to lose weight and that should take care of it. The second, third and fourth stages are the ones that need more attention and treatment. This is the stage of NASH, then fibrosis, then cirrhosis. The, all, all the stages can be treated. There are various techniques we use to treat patients. So it will be a combination of lifestyle changes, which means dieting, exercising, and more importantly, losing weight if you're overweight. Uh, there are also good medication available, which is uh, coming into the market in the last couple of years, and more tablets are expected to come in the next few years because NASH is a worldwide problem. Uh, there's a lot of interest and research going on in NASH, and we expect a lot of breakthrough medication coming through. So at every stage of your liver disease, there is treatment available. 
so please check your liver out find out what stage you are and get a proper uh, guidance based on your profile it, it is not like one treatment is given for all patients with fatty liver it is individualized and your individual situation can keep changing year to year so you have to get uh, proper assessment and treatment is available even patients with cirrhosis can be treated even if you have liver failure and advanced problems can be treated we are doing liver transplant and advanced treatment so at any stage we can treat you so be confident, get yourself checked out and get the treatment that you need. And finally on uh, International NASH Day, I want to leave you with some tips on how to maintain good health, which not only applies to fatty liver but to most lifestyle disorders including diabetes, high blood pressure and so on. Uh, the first important thing is your weight. Uh, all of us have to try to have an ideal body weight. Uh, your BMI needs to be below 25. If you can get 23 or below, it's even greater. One simple way to know how safe you are is to measure your waist at the umbilical level. It should be below 100 for men and below 90 for women. If you can get it even lower, it's better. So it's a simple way where you can just do it at your home in your bedroom uh, to just measure your waist and that will give you an indicator of your metabolic health. Uh, the second most important thing you can do to keep healthy is exercise. You have to keep uh, moving your body we recommend at least 150 minutes of exercise a week spread over three to four days um, it may sound boring but these are all things that really help you to maintain good health and uh, avoid many of the lifestyle disorders uh, thirdly diet diet facilitates both weight loss and good health uh, we generally recommend a diet which is low in carbohydrates and low in fat eat more of fruits and vegetables you can try different types of diets like intermittent fasting or uh, Mediterranean diet. Some, some people eat just two meals a day, which is also fine. If you eat more, then try to eat small volume each time. And don't eat late at night, try to eat your last meal earlier in the night. Uh, avoid alcohol or drink very less. Avoid unnecessary medication because most of them harm the liver. And many, many of you can get vaccinated for Hepatitis A and Hepatitis B, vaccinations available for both. So these are all some of the tips that anybody can do to maintain good liver health. So I hope uh, this messaging is important, uh, messaging is uh, useful to you on International Nash Day. Uh, fatty liver is common, every third, fourth person in our country has it. So look out and be careful and get tested where appropriate. Thank you.